Welcome back to Tic Tac Doe, y'all. We're going to do our third game of Tic Tac Doe. And this time, Brandon is playing against Andrew Hawking. How you doing, Andrew? I'm doing good, Ronnie. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I want to win this time. Number one, the leaderboard. This is going to be a good match. Let's get right into it. Here are the nine categories we're doing this time. We have video games. We have the $10,000 question. No val actors and actresses. Whether, true or false, double or nothing, if you choose the double or nothing category, you can keep that box if you want to, or risk it for another box, but if you do choose that box and miss the question, you can lose both boxes. But if you get the question right in that other box, you'll get two boxes. We have New Testament, Secret Category, and Mixed Countries. Where are to, uh, Brandon? Alright, give me the screenshot, Andrew. Oh, shoot. Rodney. Don't mess up my computer. Trying to, try to put, click the screen, screenshot. Well, if y'all don't know what y'all, don't mess up my computer. Trying to press screenshot, but I have to try, try to get the screenshot. There we go. Now you can see it now. All right. All right let's do new video games this time. Go on video games. Question on video games, Brandon, is this. What character do you play as the Legend of Zelda? Is it A, Gandalf, B, Chimmy, C, Peter, or D, Link? That would be Link. Link is correct. You got $2,000 in the pot. All right. And we shuffle it. Please. And it is your turn, Andrew. Uh, let's try. Uh, no vowels, actors, and actresses. No vowel actors and actresses. Take a look at this one. There it is, and your question, uh, Andrew. Who provided the original voice for Daffy Duck? One of the best is Mel Brock. That is correct. Good job. Right answer. Four thousand dollars is in the pot. We shuffle it. Brandon. All right, time for a uh, screenshot. All right, let's do video games right in the middle. Second time in the category, but you're going to get a two part question worth $3,000, and we'll give you the extra time. Here it is. First, what 64-bit Sega, what 64-bit Sega system was a predecessor to the PlayStation and Nintendo 64? Is it A, the Dreamcast, B, Commodore 128, C, the Saturn, or D, the 3DO? That's the first one. And the second one, the game Grand Theft Auto was released primarily for what gaming system? Is it A, NES, B, Xbox? C, Dreamcast, or D, PlayStation? Here's your time to think about it. All right, uh, Brandon, which part do you want to answer first? Let's do the second part, please. The game Grand Theft Auto was released primarily for what gaming system? Is it A, NES, B, Xbox, C, Dreamcast, or D, PlayStation? If I remember this correctly, that will be on the PlayStation. Right, you are. And for the center box, what 64-bit Sega system was a predecessor to the PlayStation and the Nintendo 64? Is it A, Dreamcast, B, Commodore 128, C, Saturn, or D, 3DO? 
Saturday. I'm going to think of it. I'm going to take a guess and go with the Saturday. Right you are. Good job. Yeah. We have $7,000 in the pot and we shuffle it. Andrew. The favorites are coming up. Here's your question on Novell actors and actresses. Take a look at this one. Question on that, uh, um, Andrew, is this: Who is who is Jolie Richardson's famous mother? Uh, that, that would be Vanessa Redgrave. Right, you are. Good job. We have nine thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle it up again. Brandon. All right, time for another screenshot. I want to go with Noval actors and actresses for the block. All right, third time in that category. Take a look at the screen again, uh, Brandon. All right. Here we go. Question. Skateboarding is a professional sport for this actor. Name him. Mm, I know this one. That'll be Jason Lee. Nicely done in the block. All right. $11,000 in the pot and we shuffle it. Okay, Andrew. For the block. Alright, you get this question right in the secret category, you will get the block, and we double the pot from eleven thousand dollars to twenty-two thousand dollars. Here we go. What US novelist created Jurassic let me try again. What US novelist created Jurassic Park and the TV medical drama ER? What U.S. novelist created Jurassic Park and the TV medical drama The ER? Okay, the answer for that one was Michael Creighton. Michael Creighton. Yeah, secret categories are not easy. We have 11,000 in the pot, we shuffle it. And it's Brandon's turn. Oh, oh, oh. screenshot, here we go. Alright. No about it. Actors for the win. You get this question right, and no vow actors and actresses. It'd be Tic Tac Doe, Brandon, $13,000, and your wins will be at $325,290. It'll be your sixth win. All right. Here we go. Here we go, and no vow actors and actresses. Here it is. All right, and that sound means that this is going to be the last game. So here we go. All right, your question, Brandon. Who played the character of Corey Bradder in the 1967 film Barefoot in the Park? 
Jane Fonda. You have tic tac toe, Brandon. Good job. Brandon. Oh, good game, Andrew. Yeah, you too, Brandon. Nicely done, Brandon. Another thirteen thousand dollars. Now your winnings are at three hundred twenty-five thousand two hundred ninety dollars. That's your sixth win, and you're gonna play again tomorrow if you're available. Are you available tomorrow? Uh, yes, I will be, Rodney. So you'll be the champion. You'll play again tomorrow. Well, Andrew, uh, you will definitely have you for another game. Okay. Thank you, Rodney. Thank you. All right, so. Brandon has won all three games tonight. Nicely done. Ready to go on ahead against that dragon? Uh, I am ready to go, Rodney. Let's do the beat the dragon game. Oh, all right, Brandon. And go ahead and announce the prizes, Maeve. Thank you very much. And manage to get the tick and tack on any of your picks. We give you a thirty-five thousand dollar bonus. And you'll have a shot at a new car. Let's come off that board. All right, go hide, Fluffy. All right, go ahead, Brandon. Start picking. All right. All right, here we go. Come on. Let's do this. Same as before. Right on the ball, sign number five. Let's see what's in number five. Oh! All right, Brandon. That means you get that $4,000 no matter what. Of course, you're going to go again, so pick another number. All right. I want to go with uh, numbers, guys. Eight. Four. All right. All right. I, Andrew's going to go. I'm going to go with number eight. Let's see what's in number eight. There's the tech now. Now, you find the tick. We give you a... Thirty-five thousand dollars bonus. You have a shot and a new car. Do we? Of course, you're gonna go again because there's no risk here. Where are you going? All right, guys. I want to go with number seven. All right. If number seven has the tick, you win that thirty-five thousand dollars bonus. Let's see. Three thousand dollars. You're up to seven thousand dollars now. If you go on, if you miss this one, you'll only lose three thousand dollars. Do we stop or go? All right, I'm going on. And number six, nine. Number two. He's going number two. Okay, somebody said nine in the audience. But if number two has the tick, you win the jackpot. If it's uh more than three thousand dollars, you win the prize package. Let's see what's in number two. No, but listen to this. Damn it, Fluffy. The, the dragon came up, but guess what? You, hey, I'll, I'll take it. But you did get the $4,000 before seeing that dragon, so that's what we're going to give you, $4,000. Four. Watch. So you're up to $329,290, Brandon. All right. And uh, let's see where... You think it's by number four? Let's see. Yes, it was. He was right. He was right. So that means the jackpot goes up to $40,000 or $80,000 if it happens on the first two picks. Did everybody have a good time anyway tonight? Yes, they did. All right, guys. This is Rodney1279 signing out saying be safe, be careful, take care, everybody. And we may play Pressure Luck right after this. Take care, y'all. Who wants to do uh, Who wants to play pressure uh, luck? Uh, who wants to play pressure luck? I'm in. in, in. I want to. I want to be out for tonight. Okay. So right. See you guys later. All right. Okay. Bye. Uh, bye. 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 Everybody that's on the call who's gonna play pressure luck is gonna stay on the call. I'm gonna turn on my TV here. This is my.
Brandon will play again tomorrow. What you doing? Let's take a win tomorrow. And then check it tomorrow, okay? About...